Ted from everythingattachments.com and we're here to show you the Agrex fertilizer spreader. Comes in several different sizes. This is a model 300. It's PTO driven, three point hitch. So this is going to be your rotating part that slings your, your seed or your fertilizer out. Uh, it's totally adjustable to how much you put out per acre. This unit holds 660 pounds of fertilizer, about four or five bags of seed. Uh, it has an adjustable gate here. On the back side, you can adjust it with three different holes to distribute straight behind in the center position to the left or to the right, either direction you can set it. Uh, this unit is all steel construction. A lot of people want a poly uh, hopper, which we do offer. Even if, even if you use a poly hopper and a stainless steel slinger blades, uh, pretty much if you leave the fertilizer in it and forget to clean it up really well after you're through, it doesn't matter if you've spent three or five hundred dollars for a hopper or, or a thousand or five thousand. If you leave the fertilizer in it, it's simply going to be locked up the next year you go to it. This does have a casted gearbox underneath it, which that's the best instead of the stamp style. I've never had any problem out of these. We've sold Agrex for over 20 years at our office and uh, it's a great machine. You just need to remember to clean it up well every year when you're through with it. Put a little oil in it. I like to put a little vegetable oil in it uh, and let it actually run and sling so you end up with the vegetable oil everywhere that the fertilizer touches. This is the gate that's going to control how much comes out and you're going to see it start to come out underneath right there and that's, that's the control of the amount that's going to come out. You're simply going to set this gauge with the set screw where you want it to come out. With the price of fertilizer and seed, make sure you really get it good and tight because if you slap this thing open really fast and you slide your slide down with it and you turn around and wonder where your $200 worth of fertilizer and seed went. So make sure you get that tight. Your center and, and side adjustments are right here with this pin. You have two other holes, forwards and backwards. That's going to control which direction it goes in. And it's a standard 540 RPM PTO shaft. Don't forget to hook up your safety chain so your cover doesn't turn. Besides fertilizer and grass seed, this unit will also spread uh, the pelletized lime. It's not going to spread the pure powder lime, but it will spread the, the pelletized lime. So right now he's spreading about a 30 foot diameter circle and we're just going to put it out really light because we're going into winter. With a fertilized spreader it doesn't take a lot of horsepower to run it. You're able to just idle around with the tractor in most cases. If you want it to sling further you can increase your RPMs. This machine will operate in forwards and reverse, so if you get in a tight area and you just can simply put it in reverse and not even have to cut off the supply of fertilizer if you want to. The Agrex spreader is meant mostly for fertilizer, pelletized lime, but it does do a good job with grass seed. You just need to keep in mind of the gate opening that you don't get it too open and release your seed really quick because grass seed is so small, especially if you're doing something like bluegrass.
After we get through using the cedar here, we're going to start with our agri-metal straw blower and we're going to cover all this up with straw so it'll be ready. We're going into winter time. This is a rye that we're putting out so it should come up and be pretty even for winter and then it'll die in the spring and then we'll start over with fescue. We've just got so much dirt around here in this red clay that we've got to get it covered up for winter. My wife's going to kill me. Uh, for all this